Hey guys, this is Mr. A Chrissy here, and welcome back to another movie review. Tonight's movie review is gonna be is gonna be a very special movie review tonight. Yeah, because 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 I me, me and Gian, me and my friend Gian went went to AMC Columbia 14 today, and we and I, and I finally went and saw this movie that everyone that everybody's been really talking about on YouTube and Letterboxd, and a lot of people have really been praising the hell out of this movie and. And of course, and of course, it's it's also my my very first A twenty four movie I ever saw in theaters. Like at, like after years of waiting, and after years of and after, and after a, a few a few or a couple years of missing out on on, on almost every A twenty four movie and only watching them on Blu ray or Vudu or on demand, I fin I finally got my chance to see an A twenty four movie on the big screen. Yep, that's right, my first A twenty four movie seen in theaters. Yeah, and, and my chance and my wish came true. My chance came true and my wish came true as well. So, anyway, me and GM went to AMC and we, and, we, and we both went and saw this movie and called Everything, Everywhere, All at Once. Yeah, I know it's a long title, but, that, but that's what it's called. Everything, Everywhere, All at Once. So, Everything, Everywhere, All at Once is directed by the Daniels. And stars Michelle Yeoh as she plays a character named Evelyn. And the movie also stars James Hahn, Jenny Slate, and Jamie Lee Curtis. And so, the, sto the story of, of, of Everything Everywhere... The story of Everything Everywhere at All at Once goes like this. When, it, when a Rube show un 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 unravels reality, like when, when it... <clears throat> excuse me, let me start over. When, it, it, when an interdimensional ru rub rupture un unravels reality... An unlikely hero named Evelyn, played by Michelle Yeoh, like she she must channel her her newfound powers to, to fight bizarre and be bewil bewildering dangers from 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 the multiverse as the fate of, of the world hangs in in the balance. And and pretty much you know Evelyn has to do whatever she can to to, to fade to face her like you know to face her powers like you know she must like you know channel her powers to to fight bizarre and you know bewildering dangers from in the multiverse. And there you go. So, so when, when, when me and Jean were, were going into this movie, I, like, when me and Jean were going into this movie, we, we were, we were, we were very interested in it and pretty, pretty excited to check this movie out. Like, I've always wanted to check out everything, everywhere, all at once since, ever since it first came out. Like, when this movie, when this movie first came out, I mean, before this movie came out, I remember seeing previews for everything, everywhere, all at once. And, and of course, like, I think it's pretty cool how the A24 logo there in the trailer kind of resembles, like, the A24 logos in the style googly eyes. Yeah, because yeah, it's, it's even pretty cool how, how they use googly eyes for, for, like, most of the, for, like, almost, almost, like, in this film at some point. And... Oh yeah, guys, and you you can you can you can see on my forehead that that since this movie does have something to do with the googly eyes, I mean we we could we couldn't really go to Michael's to do, to get to get googly eyes from you know Michael's the, the the arts and crafts store, we couldn't we couldn't really go to Michael's and get actual googly eyes. So I created one myself. I actually cut out a piece of paper and and I had a black sharpie and drew like a little a little dot here to resemble to resemble a a googly a googly eye that kind of makes it look like an eyeball like a googly eye. Yeah, just like. Just like the ones used in the movie itself, everything, everywhere, all at once, and I kind of, I kind of almost looks like, I kind of almost resemble Paul the Three Eyed Monkey for, from from the DNA Productions logo, at the end of Jimmy Neutron. <laughs> I look pretty funny with this so on my forehead. <laughs> pretty fitting for the movie. And 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 there are some times where where this movie, everything, everywhere, all at once, this movie kind of almost feels like a feels like the MCU film Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. Yeah, because if, if I if I had to choose if I had to pick between which which movie's better, Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness or Everything Everywhere All at Once, which one do I say I think is better? Well, that's kind of hard to say because I would say both. I would think it's like a two way tie for both movies. Yeah, because I and I do like how the visual effects, like like you know the sound the sound effects and the and the visual effects, it, it's very entertaining on on the big screen and it gives you that it, it gives you that cinematic theatrical experience and you get the feel of that. And the acting performances, the acting performances in this movie were also very well done too. Like Michelle Yeoh, Michelle Yeoh, Michelle Yeoh actually does a really, a really awesome job playing Evelyn in this movie, and she does, she was, she was great in this movie. And James Hahn was good, and um, and Jenny Slate, Jenny Slate was in this movie too. Like she's not really in the movie that much, but you know she was there, and you know she kind of plays like a small part in this movie. 
And Jamie Lee Curtis. Jamie Lee Curtis was also good in this movie, too. Yeah. Yeah, and I gotta say, the Daniels also did a, did a very good job directing this film, too. And, and, and it, kind of, it, it sort of gives you that imagination of, 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 how, of how there's, like, different, different, and different dimensions in the multiverse. And, and, and also, the producers of, of, of Everything Everywhere All at Once, the producers for this movie are actually the Russo brothers, Anthony and Joe Russo, who are, who are both known for, for directing the last two Avengers films, Infinity War and Endgame. And I gotta say, the Russo brothers did, did did a pretty good job producing this film, and and I gotta say, A twenty four also did a good a good job making this film too. Cause, and and there are some times like like during the fight sequences, this movie can get very weird at, at some parts. Cause that's the point of A twenty four. It's it's like they they make weird entertainment, they make weird weird and strange stuff just for the entertainment, and that's the point of A twenty four. And, and and of course, like you know, like the, there there are some like fight, one one fight sequence that involves like like a security guard character, like where the, the the security guard doesn't have any pants on, and he also doesn't have any underwear on, like and 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 also the, the lucky luckily they they were able to censor they were they were able to censor out his crotch, yeah. My my friend GM was like, I, I can't look, yeah, because you know he because he was just enjoying the he was just enjoying this movie like I was, and yeah. And also, and also, what makes this movie very weird in, in, in an entertaining way is that there is that there are some, and, and there's actually one part where, where where some of the characters actually have hot dogs for fingers. Yeah, hot dogs for fingers. Yeah, and then yeah, because if I go into more detail, then I'm I might end up spoiling the movie. But it's 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 actually been it's actually been a it's actually been quite a while since this movie first came out. Because everything, everywhere, all at once, actually, it, it actually first came out as a limited theatrical release back in March, like on March twenty fifth of twenty twenty two this year, and then and then it received an official wide release on April eighth, twenty twenty two, which was the exact same day as Sonic the Hedgehog two and Ambulance, which I also saw both those films too, and and I, and I love Sonic too, and I and I kind of liked Ambulance. As for everywhere, as for everything, everywhere, all at once. This movie was definitely awesome, fantastic, amazing, and it was incredible too. Yeah, and and people have been people have been also been saying that that everything everywhere all at once is also considered to be their favorite movie of twenty twenty two so far, and and I know a lot of reviewers on Letterbox have really been giving this a, a five out of five, like five out of five stars. And I will say, I do agree with you guys. Everything everywhere all at once is now one of my all time favorite movies of the year so far. Cause this kind of had this kind of had me had me think. I get this feeling where I think this movie might 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 possibly get an Oscar nomination, maybe for best picture or maybe something else for a different category. I mean, maybe everything, everywhere, all at once. Maybe maybe it might receive an an, an an Academy Award nomination or an Oscar nomination for like best picture or something. But we'll just have to wait and see about that. But yeah, yeah, but yeah. So me and Gian had had a good time with this movie, and. The last two previews shown before Everything Everywhere All at Once were both A24 movies. Marcel, Marcel the Shell with Shoes On. That, that, that movie actually does look, look like a pretty cute movie from A24. Marcel the Shell with Shoes On. And the last trailer they, they showed was Men. Men actually comes out next week. Yeah. And I, and I, and I can't wait to see Men. Yeah. That, that movie actually comes out the exact same day as the Disney Plus original film Chip and Dale Rescue Rangers. I... My, Gian, Gian told me that he's gonna watch it next week, but for me, it doesn't really appeal to me that much since I'm not really that interested in checking out Chip and Dale Rescue Rangers. I mean, yeah, it's just it's like all those crossovers with like, you know, it just some some of you guys already know my my thoughts on on what on what 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 I what what it looks like about the Chip and Dale Rescue Rangers film, but that doesn't matter. We're only focusing on like for for today of of what of the movie I just saw today. But yeah, so yeah, because everything about everything, everywhere, all at once is very fantastic, and it, it, it's and it's kind of, it, it it was crazy, cr it was crazy fun as well. Yeah, because I I enjoyed everything about this movie, and because because I still think the Batman, I still think the Batman is my all time favorite film twenty twenty two so far, my number one favorite. I will say, I think. I think everything, everywhere, all at once would have to be my second favorite of 2022 this year. I mean, I'm still waiting for Top Gun Maverick to be released on May 27th in the next two weeks. So, yeah. So, yeah, like, 
So yeah, I, I had a really great time with watching my, my first A24 movie on the big screen. I'm actually glad that I went and saw this movie in theaters because I, I, since this, since this movie is about two hours and 20 minutes, since this is, is like a two hour long movie, I, I actually made the right choice to go see this movie in theaters because Regal wasn't even playing at it. Because I mean, they, my local Regal movie theater I usually go to and work at, they, they used to play the, this movie, but then I think recently they stopped playing it. But at least AMC is still playing it. And I think Cinemark, I think, is still playing it as well. But yeah. But I'm actually glad that I went and saw this movie in theaters because maybe maybe I'll maybe I'll try to go see more A24 movies in theaters. Like 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 I said, I am looking forward to A24's Men. As for Marcel the Shell with shoes on, that that movie actually comes out the same day as the Elvis Presley movie with Tom Hanks. I'm probably gonna see that first beforehand, possibly. So yeah. And and of course, A24 is also no is they're also making an, another movie called Bodies Bodies Bodies. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, cause and, and like I said, guys, I, I I thought that I thought I thought about making like a home a homemade googly eye just for just for the for, for for just to fit the theme of the movie for this review. So that's pretty much all there is to say about my thoughts on everything, everywhere, all at once. So, so overall. Everything Everywhere All Once was a fantastic, amazing, incredible movie from A24 this year. And I'm going to give every Everything Everywhere All Once 5 out of 5 stars. I I do agree with most of you guys out there. This movie definitely deserves a 5 out of 5 for sure. Because this movie was just fantastic. And, 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 I, and, I, do, and I do get the praise that, that everyone's been giving this movie for. Yeah, I do get the praise. And yeah, I loved it. GM liked it too. So yeah, if you if you haven't seen everything everywhere all once yet, if if your local movie theaters still playing, if your local movie theaters are still playing this movie, then I say go see this movie. And and I, and I will say this movie was also more worth watching than 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 the Firestarter remake cuz if you're not interested in checking out the Firestarter remake and it, and if your movie theaters still playing everything everywhere all once, then I say go see this movie. Or if you, or if you're an MCU fan and you want to check out Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness, I say I say go see that as well. Because I don't recommend the Firestarter remake since that remake sucked, but I'm not gonna not gonna take it too too literally or seriously. And and yeah, and and, and I also can't wait to get everything everywhere all once on Blu-ray because since I, I will get it on Blu-ray for sure. I'm also planning on get I'm also I'm also planning on getting another A24 film that also came out in early March called X. I I do want to check out X since I, I since I have the Blu-ray coming as soon as possible. Yeah, so I can't wait to check out X. So, yeah, definitely definitely check out Everything Everywhere All at Once if you haven't yet. And so, that's going to be it for this movie review on Everything Everywhere All at Once. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you're not subscribed yet, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet. And make sure, make sure to like this video as well. So, with that being said, until next time... This is Mr. A. Crizzy saying, goodbye everybody and that's about it.